So Adam, since DigiCore's inception, your portable players have been proprietary designs. With the proliferation of tablets like the Samsung Galaxy and the iPad, which can perform any of the same functions as the DigiPlayer, is there a future for completely custom handheld IP devices? Uh, we obviously think so. Uh, and part of the reason why is, first of all, I love iPads. I'm a big Apple guy. I love Samsung. So my phone is a little of those guys do. Uh, those devices, though, they're designed to be owned by consumers and used on the ground. What we have is something that's designed to be owned by the airline and used in the air. Uh, and real quick, some of the, the implications of that is, for example, the iPad, uh, the tab, and things like that, uh, they're not built as robustly as what an airline needs. They're not designed to be used day after day after day in flight by little kids who are going to drop and throw them and do things like that. Um, as well as the software and things like that, which obviously, again, iOS, Android, there's a lot of advantages there, but again, we have a proprietary OS that allows us to uh, create a completely custom solution for the airlines that works around their logistics. So how you do content loading, how you do security, uh, how you get the early window content and things like that, which uh, the Android devices, iOS, they've been, they've been struggling with that. And we have an out-of-the-box solution for all of that. So that's why purpose-built custom solutions, they, they absolutely have a place in this market. I want to talk to you a bit about content, which as you know is our focus at Sparksheet. What types of content do you think people want? to consume in flight, and is there something unique about the, uh, the preferences and, and content desires of the, the consumer in transit, what we call the transumer? That's a great question, and actually this is something that we look at a lot, uh, because it's one thing to put the hardware out there, but at the end of the day, people, it, it's what, what are they watching, what are they reading, that's what they really care about. Um, and so we spend a lot of time looking at our usage stats as well as doing research, and what we find is, first and foremost, people just want to watch movies. Um, that is the number one media that people are consuming while they're in flight, and in particular, early window. Um, what has been a little bit surprising, though, is that there's still a lot of interest in classic titles. Um, so all the research that we've done with passengers around the world that says, yes, we want the early window, but they're actually still willing to do a lot of the classic titles, things that have been out for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So movies are number one uh, what people want. Obviously, the internet is starting to become uh, a bigger factor as well, and people at that point just choose the media that they want to consume. It's a good segue into my next question. How does in-flight connectivity and content streaming fit into DigiCore's future? And do you see these developments as an opportunity or a threat for, for suppliers of portable devices? You know, when, uh, when GoGo first launched and started to get on our customers like Alaska, United, you know, uh, airlines like that, that was actually a really big question for us. What, what does this do to us? Uh, and we have found that it's actually extremely complementary. Um, the rental rates have, uh, they have not even dropped, they haven't even dipped. So even though people can bring on their own devices, they can get streaming the internet, they can get streaming video, uh, they're still renting the players. There's enough people that haven't brought a device on that they don't want to get out of the bag, they don't have the media they want to watch, or the battery's dead, or something like that happens, and it's, it becomes a complement to what we do. So we can actually rent out our device, which has Wi-Fi on it, and you can start you know, getting on the internet with that, as well as watch the early window content and things like that. So it works hand in hand. Last question. DigiCore has always had a close relationship with Alaska Airlines. I believe your founder actually came up with the idea for a portable IP device while working at Alaska. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Can you talk a little bit about that partnership and how closely you work together to develop um, and, and define new products with them? So Alaska Airlines, like you mentioned, that was our very first customer. Uh, and to this day, they're still our, our biggest customer. They, we have a great relationship with them, and we really do see it as a partnership. So a lot of the new programs that we will even just initially start discussing internally, we often present pretty quickly to Alaska and say, hey, what do you guys think of this? And, and how would you guys roll this out? And we get a lot of feedback from them, and they actually are our key partners in helping us develop a lot of our product and service solutions. Um, and then they're often a launch customer for a lot of things that we do. Um, and so that's a, it's really a critical partnership and we really appreciate the focus from the executive team that we get from them on helping us develop a product and service solution that fits their needs that we're able then also roll out to other customers. So it's, it, it's very much a hand-in-hand -hand relationship with them.